Hello everyone. So today in this video, we are going to discuss about how to install Kubeflow pipeline locally on your Windows machine. So to install that, there are certain prerequisites because uh, Kubeflow works on uh, clusters. So we need to have a local cluster setup. So for that, uh, we'll be installing one by one prerequisites. So the very first one, you need to have a Docker desktop installed. So Docker desktop is an easy to install application for your Mac. So what it enables you basically to build and share containerized application and microservices. Okay. So we'll install this to the very first one and then we'll install the Minikube. So Minikube will help you to set up local Kubernetes or local cluster setup in your Windows machine. So we'll install these two things first, that is a prerequisite. And then on top of that, uh, we'll install the Kubeflow pipeline. Okay. So let's start. So for that, what you need to do basically, you need to go to uh, uh, your browser and uh, search uh, like uh, Docker desktop. Okay. The moment you search Docker desktop, you can open this link and from here you can download. So let's start downloading. So uh, the moment you click that one, it will allow you to download. So I, as you see, I have already downloaded. So I'll not download this one, but uh, uh, you can download and I will directly jump to install that one. Okay. So for that, uh, what you can do, um, you can go to the location where you have downloaded that one. And uh, from there you can open. So let me go where I have downloaded. Basically, I have a software folder and there this is Docker Desktop installer. Okay. So let me double click this one and it will uh, it's not, uh, install it. So you can see uh, the step by step approach how it will install. So now uh, it is asking you, okay, whether you want to add a shortcut to the desktop. Uh, if your wish, you can add or uh, you can also uh, search from this search menu after installing. So you see here it is uh, it started unpacking files because a lot of files and a lot of setup is needed. So it will take some time. So let it install. And I will suggest you guys also do simultaneously with me so that at the end of this video, you have all already set up everything and you are able to run the Kubeflow pipeline in your system. Okay, so uh, let it install. So now you see uh, it will automatically pop this window like installation succeeded. Okay, so the moment you get this screen, you simply close this. And after closing, you can go to your search bar of in Windows, and here you can search uh, Docker Desktop. Then you will see here uh, this icon will appear, and you can just click on that one, and it will uh, open your Docker Desktop in your machine. So just give me a minute, uh, it will open. Yeah. So now it is telling uh, to accept certain uh, service agreement. So you can just accept it. And after that, it will open. Yeah. So it is opening. So you see here, it is telling, okay, Docker desktop is starting. So let it start. And here you see left side, we have containers, we have images, we have volumes. So, um, so you can skip the tutorial or if you want, you can of course go through that one. So we can cover a Docker desktop tutorial next time. So now uh, we have containers so inside container. You don't see any container available so in a moment. We are going to create a container on which we will be running our uh, mini cube and uh, Kubeflow pipelines. And here again in images section also, there is no image as of now. So the moment we are uh, the first one will install uh, set up a mini cube local cluster setup Kubernetes setup. Okay? So the moment we set up that so you will see certain images available here and you will also see containers. And for uh, that respective volumes will be created. Okay, so we'll see all these things step by step. So now next thing, so now you have Docker Desktop available in your Windows machine. Okay, so what is the next thing basically? Uh, let me go to the PPT. And next thing is like Minikube. So for that, uh, what you can do, you can come to this URL. So I'll paste these URLs in the description section in my video, so you can take from there. So for Minikube, as you see, like Minikube is a local Kubernetes focusing on making it easy to learn and develop for Kubernetes. It's a local Kubernetes environment, so you can easily install that one. But of course, there are certain free conditions like a minimum uh, basic requirement, like two CPUs, two GB of free memory, 20 GB of disk space. I hope this all you have already available in your system, so that's fine. And then it also required container and virtual machine manager such as Docker. So for that, that's the reason we have already installed Docker as the very first step, right? So now you are good to go and you, you can install this uh, mini cube in your system. So for that, uh, I will not ask you to download anything. Just select these uh, can, uh, the things because you want to install in Windows and 64 machine in the stable version uh, and .exe. So you, whether you want to download the .exe or not, okay? Otherwise, uh, what I would suggest you simply open the PowerShell in your Windows and run this command. So let me explain this command, okay? For that, let me open PowerShell because uh, certain commands will not work, work normally on your uh, CMD prompt. So that's where you just uh, start PowerShell. 
in your administrator mode. So for that, uh, I have op I am opening a power cell in my administrator mode, and now let me copy this first command. Okay. So here uh, I copied this one, and then come here and simply paste it. So now what it is doing basically? See, a new item. It is going to create a new item where so this is the path basically inside C, and it is giving a name mini cube. Okay. So it is creating a mini cube named directory inside your C folder. And then what it is, it is invoking a web request which will download minikube.exe inside this folder, this directory from this URL location. Okay, so let me hit enter. So the moment I hit enter, it will start uh, downloading. <clears throat> so now you see it is uh, downloading. This, <coughs> so here you see number of bytes written. So like uh, it is downloading, and if you go to your C folder, C drive. Then there you will see easily like um, it has created a folder name Minikube, and inside that it is uh, downloading. So now you see like it's like now you see uh, this uh, size is increasing. Before it was zero, and now it is around 28 MB, right? So it will um, download everything here. So now you see it is still downloading. So let it download. So it it, it takes some time. So that's where I suggested you just do along with me, so that um, you can follow the same steps. So based on your internet speed and uh, your machine requirement, everything, it will uh, take that much of time. Okay. So let it uh, download, uh, let, uh, let's understand next step. So it, in this step, it will download basically, and then in next step, you need to set up a uh, path for this mini cube in your environment variable. So for that, what you can do, you can simply open, uh, see, here you can come and you can search environment, edit system environment variable. And there uh, it will open a window, just a minute. Yeah, and then you can go to environment variables. And here in this path variable, you see, I have already uh, uh, written like C mini cube, okay? So you can write this, but uh, you don't need to do it manually. So we have command for that, but of course you can do it manually also. So if you run this command, there's a next step, okay? So you go here, so now it is complete basically. And in your C folder, you can see like 79 MB, uh, it is downloaded. So you don't need to do anything. What you can do, I copy. So see, as a next step, you just copy this uh, command. Okay, from here you just copy. So it is copied, and then you come here and you just simply paste it. Okay, the moment you paste it, so here it is. See, it is just uh, getting the old path from getting our own variable path. Okay, and here it is saying, okay, if that C mini cube already exists, if it exists, it will not do anything. If it doesn't exist, you just create there. Okay, so simply just hit enter and done. You are done. Okay, so it will take uh, with just to microseconds, okay? So now it will simply create a mini cube uh, path in your system environment variable. So now it's done. So basically uh, you are uh, done with uh, mini cube setup. So as a next step, what you need to do, basically you need to uh, is do mini cube start. The moment you do mini cube start, it will start downloading the mini cube related, uh, cluster related images and it will start a container here in this Docker desktop. As you see here, there's nothing inside a container. Okay, there is nothing inside images, right? So uh, let me. Uh, what you can do, you simply close this uh, power cell and uh, just reopen it for safer side so that everything is set up properly. <clears throat> Same thing. And now what you need to do, you can do mini cube, just so so that it will let you know. Okay, every uh, mini cube is available in your system. Just to type mini cube and hit enter. So these uh, it will just suggest some to kind of help, right? So some uh, basic comma. Uh, so what I am going to do next, mini cube is start. The moment, I, and one more thing, guys. So with uh, mini, the moment you uh, uh, set up mini cube, so it also brings uh, your CTL with you. Okay, so you no need to uh, is, uh, install or set up cube CTL. So cube CTL is like a command line tool for uh, to interact with your Kubernetes. Okay, to run all the Kubernetes uh, commands. So uh, if you are using Minikube, you don't need to uh, set up that explicitly. It will be set up uh, uh, automatically with Minikube, okay? So now you just do Minikube start. So now it is starting, and now you can open this Docker desktop, and you can monitor this. So here, uh, certain images and uh, container will be getting created, okay? So let me open it side by side, so that you can easily visualize it. So now you see here. In this uh, window, it is pulling certain images, right? Pulling base image of Minikube, you see here, and creating Docker container. It got two CPUs and memory. Now you just see here, something is happening here, right? So it is uh, creating a container. And if you go to images here, you will see certain images here. You see here, 
this email is automatically. So that's the reason you need to have a Docker desktop already set up first, right? So that uh, it can manage the container uh, application easily. So now you see here, it is uh, just uh, setting up uh, the container for you, local container, local Kubernetes container. Okay. So again, it will take two uh, minutes to let it do basically. And meanwhile, I will just show you uh, by opening the CMD prompt. As I said, uh, you no need to do a kubectl. Kubectl will uh, come along with minikube, so no need to worry. So kubectl uh, get uh, pod hyphen a. Let's see uh, what it is showing. So it will show you like what all our containers are running, what our services are running basically, what our pods basically. So these uh, different pods are running. Okay. So now you see here, uh, so here basically what I want to show you, so here the moment I install Kubeflow, okay, as the next step, here you will see all different uh, pods are running with respect to uh, Kubeflow. Okay, so th those are not yet, okay. So now we have started Minikube. So Minikube is started and already set up in your local machine. So what next? So here, as I as you can see again, so this container is running and for that, this is the image, okay. So now what is next basically? So next is like uh, the Minikube is already set up. You can of course interact. So as you say, like if you already have kubectl installed, you can now use it, access your assign a new cluster. So if you just, same thing we ran, right? So kubectl get, uh, you write pod or you simply write PO, that's fine. If a, it will just show you like what are, uh, if your cluster is already set up, then what are pods are running there. So that's what we have seen here. So this is fine, <clears throat> this is set up. As a next important for you, for what you are here basically, to see how to install Kubeflow, right? So for that environment setup is done, and now you need to uh, set up a Kubeflow. So for that, you simply run, need to run two commands and it will be uh, very quickly done, okay? So for that local deployment, as you see here, it requires a local Q, uh, Kubernetes cluster to be up and running. We have already done that one, so you can skip all these steps and you can go uh, down basically. So we came here, so now here, deploying Kubeflow pipelines, okay? So here, what you can to do is just run these commands. So one by one will be running, okay? So let me copy this and come here and paste it here, okay? So, so guys, as you are using Windows, okay? In Windows machine, this if export will not work. So for that, you need to write set. But if you are using Linux machine, then of course you can run that command export as it is. So I have set this uh, pipeline version basically 1.8.5. And if you are using any other version, then of course you can mention that one. And now as a next step, we will just run this command. Okay. So now it will <coughs> fetch the manifest file here and it will just start setting up in your local cluster. So give it uh, some time. Okay, yeah, so now it is created. So now what is it telling? So these all things are uh, created basically, okay. So now if you just, go here so so as of now there's nothing it is only uh, mini cube right and uh, with respect to the same image okay so uh, you will uh, at the moment i run a next few command it you will see certain more things there as well okay so let me run this command as well that's fine and then the last one it's very easy guys so you don't need to worry So it will also run in a minute, no worries. Yeah, so now it is uh, uh, creating. So the moment you just, you are done here, so you just again come here and run this command. So now you see here, previously we had only this cube system, right? And now you see here uh, in your uh, pod services, we have all these Kubeflow related containers. And in the status, it is like container is creating, container is creating, container is creating. So that's where here it will take several minutes. It takes around 15, 20 minutes. So for that minute, you need to wait basically, guys. Okay. So after 15, 20 minutes, it's, you see, now you have done everything. So you don't need to do anything. I just need to wait 15, 20 minutes. And after that, everything will be up and running in your system. You have a local Kubernetes environment in your uh, local Kubernetes cluster set up in your uh, local machine. And on top of that, you have already installed Kubeflow. Only one thing is left, port forwarding, so that you can open in your local host. Okay. 
so for that again this is the command basically so what you can do you can again come here and simply paste in your power cell and hit enter i'm not hitting enter because i'm allowing it some time to uh, make the cluster up and running okay see so it it will take certain time we just uh, check the uh, status by running this uh, ctl get pod hyphen f okay so let's wait for around uh, 10 minutes and uh, see how it is working okay now you see like uh, i'm just running the same uh, uh, qctl get pod hyphen a so to check the status so now you see like uh, some of them already started running like this one and uh, these things okay but some are still in um, uh, container creating phase and one more thing guys if you see crash loop back off okay so don't worry with that one basically so what it is doing it is trying to download a particular image and if it doesn't find then uh, it, it is showing this one but it will again retry to download uh, the image from some other docker hub okay so some other ideas some other account so it will again do so no need to worry you simply need to wait okay just wait and everything will be up and running so now you see these uh, services already up and running only the these three four five six six containers are still creating okay so uh, let it let them create and uh, meanwhile let me run this uh, command as well so that uh, we it will start both forwarding to 8080 and we can access uh, the kubeflow pipeline in this uh, local host 8080 so let me go to the browser okay and from there open local host so this is the url basically local host 8080 so this moment it is telling fail to retrieve list of pipelines okay so no need to worry because container is still creating the moment container gets created you will not see this error okay and this pipelines will work as it is so no need to worry okay you just need to wait for some more time so let them create let's wait so now if you see here so i am running the same command again everything i mean uh, except this one everything is running okay so i mean if you give some more minute then this will also be up and running and now if you refresh this thing okay so now you see that error is automatically gone okay because that was still uh, setting up everything in back end so that's where it was unable to fetch the pipeline but once that is done uh, here you see most of things running then uh, it will uh, not to that error okay and here if you have any experiments then you can see if you have any runs then you can see so let me quickly show one uh, by uploading one dummy pipe, so one pipeline which I have created. So basically, uh, you can give some description. So you go here and then Iris Classifier. You just simply upload that pipeline and come here and simply a, a create experiment out of that. So test experiment. Because this part, if you're not aware, then I have already created a video. So video is available in my channel already, like how to create the Kubeflow pipelines and run them and create experiment, create a run out of them okay? and create a volume. So everything I have already shown so that you can uh, go to my uh, YouTube channel and just see there. So let me show you where it is available quickly. So now if you come to uh, my YouTube channel, then here you will see like if we just go to a previous page, then uh, here you will see Kubeflow pipeline building. Okay. So this uh, you can uh, view like uh, how to uh, do the pipelines uh, setup, uh, pipeline to create and everything. Okay. So now it has created the volume and it will create the uh, data and then it will train the model and everything. Okay. Then for every step, it will create a new pod and container. It will start container running. Okay. So this is all about uh, pipe, uh, pipelines, the Kubeflow pipeline installation in your local Windows machine. I hope you are also uh, uh, done installing without any error. But still, if you face any error, then just ping me in the comment section. I will be happy to reply. Okay. So I think that's all for today's video. And uh, we'll uh, see you next time. And one more thing, guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel and uh, share with your community, ML communities. So that's how you can support me. So thank you very much.